Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gebo the Shaman, and today we're talking about the sign of Sagittarius in the second house. So what does it mean when we have the sign of Sagittarius in the second house in our birth chart, our D1 birth chart? Um, if, you did, if you guys don't know, I'm a Vedic astrologer, and I do offer Vedic astrology readings. So you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com, or it's also up here at this link, Gabo the Shaman, linktree slash Gabo the Shaman, and it's also down in the description below. So, uh, yeah, uh, I offer Vedic astrology readings that basically will give you your own personalized mantra and ritual and, um, and things like that that will help you to, you know, spiritually grow, spiritually evolve, and things like that. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's, that's what my readings are all about. So let's get into the, uh, analysis and the breakdown of Sagittarius in the second house. So Sagittarius is basically the ninth sign of the zodiac. And, um, so Sagittarius is all about religion, philosophy, spirituality, higher learning, uh, you know, like, uh, graduate school, like higher, higher levels of education and things like that. Um, and yeah, it's all about, uh, you know, about achieving your goals, achieving your visions and things like that. So, um, and then we have the ninth house. Oh yeah. And Sagittarius is also kind of a sign of your gurus, your your teachers, your um, the people who teach you. So that's another thing. And then we have the sign, the, uh, the second house. So the second house is all about, um, second house is all about um, basically um, what you love, what you value, the things that you appreciate, the thing, the things that you value and um, stuff like that. So, for example, this would be like the values that you grew up with um, and things like that. So you might value religion, spirituality, things like that. So yeah, um, this is, the second house is also, um, it's what you take in, it's what you, it, what, it's what gives you nourishment, it, gi it gives you, um, you know, sustenance and like, like food and things like that. So, um, so the second house is basically, uh, the things that you value, the things that you love, and the things that you take in. Uh, so yeah. Um, so, so if you have Scorpio in the second house, that means that you are a, uh, or if you have <laughs> Sagittarius, so that's what we're talking about today. If you have Sagittarius in the second house, then that means that you are a Scorpio ascendant. Um, so I would I would suggest uh, checking out my video on the Scorpio ascendant to learn more about your chart. Um, and then we have so set so Sagittarius in um, the second house. Basically, what that combination means is. Um, it's like, um, it means that this, this person would love to, um, to talk about, um, religion and spirituality and things like that. Um, and they, they would just love to, like, take in, uh, spiritual teachings and spiritual teachings, uh, really, really nourishes them on the soul level. So that's, that's a sign of of being nourished by spiritual teachings um, at that soul level. And um, yeah, so so it's kind of, a, you know, something that you would value. So, so with this person, with this uh, placement, we would value things like spirituality. We would value things like religion, uh, value things like philosophy, higher education, um, gurus and teachers, 
So we would really value those things, and we would, um, we would, uh, put a lot of, um, our, our attention on those things, and, like, we would, like, um, this kind of also, also represents things that you would spend money on, so maybe you would spend money to learn from a guru, or something like that. So, um, yeah, so, it's kind of like your, this is a sign of your spiritual values, so, or your, um, yeah, your spiritual values. So, so, um, you know, if, if this house was, if this house was empty and it had no planets in there, I would look at where your Jupiter is placed because um, the because Jupiter uh, controls or rules uh, Sagittarius, so it controls it, it rules it, so it's good to see where the landlord is if we can, you know, and so that we so that we can get a better idea of what's going on in this house. So looking at where your Jupiter's placement is. Um, and what other planets it's placed with and things like that, that's, that's all, you know, it's all really, uh, important stuff. And so if you'd like to, mo to know more about this placement, then, uh, you can get a Vedic Astrology reading with me and you can ask me. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's powerful stuff. Alright guys, uh, let me just see how I am on time and I'll be right back. So yeah, um, you know, uh, someone with this placement also could be very, um, like, they would feel like the, they would feel like nourished basically by, by spirituality, religion, philosophy, higher education, things like that, and gurus and teachers, and, um, and yeah, they would, they would value that. They would, um, that's like the thing that they would value the most out of everything else. Like they would, they would put extreme importance on, on those things, on religion, spirituality, philosophy, higher education, gurus and teachers and things like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a good, it's a really good placement for, like valuing uh, spirituality and things like that. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, um, if you don't know already, I'm a Vedic astrologer and I uh, offer Vedic astrology readings. So you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com. The links down below in the description. Vincent.thunderwizard.com and get a reading. I I also do um, distance energy healing. So. You can get a distance energy healing session with me. Uh, sorry, you can get a distance energy healing with, uh, session with me by going to uh, the link up here, linktree slash gabal the shaman, or down below in the description. Um, and yeah, so those that's actually very helpful and very empowering because um, it's. I use I use a very powerful shamanic technique as well as um, the qigong practices that I do um, to basically uh, combine that with some reiki that I've learned and um, and I basically send that energy to you so it's a very powerful thing and I also give you your own mantra and or your all your own uh, not mantra but meditation that you can do along with that to to help your body receive the energy that I'm giving you. So then we have my career coaching and life coaching. Um, if you want a one-time session with me, you can go to the career coaching tab and of uh, Gabo the Shaman or Linktree slash Gabo the Shaman. It's down below. Um, and yeah, so if you want a one-time session with me uh, to basically help 
I'll help you discover your soul desire, your the thing that makes you um, happiest in life, and we'll go into, I'll do like a guided meditation with you, and we can, we can uh, discover what your soul desire is together. All right, and then we have the support group uh, facilitating. So I am a support group facilitator. So if you want to come to me with your emotions and and lay them all out and uh, find ways of uh, better ways of coping with those and and better ways to express those and things like that, then that's what the support group is for. So we all support each other and we are all vulnerable with our feelings uh, in that support group. So it's a great, uh, great chance to uh, meet with and be vulnerable with uh, like-minded people who, who are there to support you. So then we have our energy work courses. I have my energy work courses uh, available here. You can go to patreon.com slash the shaman um, yeah, so those are available there. I have the self-transformation course, which is basically a combination of kundalini yoga, qigong, and meditation. And that's a very powerful course, uh, to synergistically combine all the energies in the body and, uh, transform on a deep, deep level. So it's very powerful. And then we have the cosmic qigong, which is basically a course for... Uh, it's intended for all, all people, like for everyone, but you know, if you're a beginner, that, that would probably be the best course to do if you're just getting into it. Um, it, it does have some very powerful practices, but they are super easy and simple to do. Just, uh, cl click play and follow along with me. Same with this, just, uh, you know, go to the site, sign up, click play and follow along. It's, um, it's really really easy, really simple. So yeah, it's a great chance to spiritually grow, spiritually evolve and things like that. And then I have my uh, emotional awareness course. So you can go to patreon.com slash gap the shaman and all the all of the links and the stuff are available right here or down below. Um, and basically the emotional awareness course is basically a course where we Try we uh, make it a point to become aware of our emotions, and we instead of acting out negatively on those emotions, we uh, do you know we do positive things with them. We act constructively, and um, it's a you know it's a powerful course because I give you coping tools, coping mechanisms, and things like that that will help you. So. All right, guys, uh, so until next time, we will talk to you later. Peace.